Travis Smashworks. I'm going to talk to you today about mid-back pain, mid-back strength, and what to do when you have that pain that's dead center of your back that feels like somebody's sticking a knife in there. Now, here's the problem with the mid-back. It's very hard to get to. It's incredibly immobile, and it's covered by a ton of muscle. I guess I could do this way because you can't see what I'm doing this way. But it's covered by a ton of muscle. So what that means is there's a lot going on, and it's designed to stabilize the scapula and support the rib cage, or and support the spine and the rib cage all at the same time. The other thing is, it is in, listen, all you guys that are super dramatic and upset about a kyphotic spine, your thoracic spine, if you look, has a bit of kyphosis in it because the vertebrae are wedge shaped. They're designed to be that way. You have a lordotic curve here, you have a kyphotic curve here, and you have another lordotic curve here. That's how you're built. It kind of gives you this compression extension ability in your spine to absorb and reflect and redirect force. It allows your spine to move all over the place. It's just like rounding your back in a deadlift. You're supposed to round your back a little bit in a deadlift. It doesn't have to be this perfect ideal spine garbage. Trust me, and I know I just pissed off a bunch of people, but I'm just being honest. So I'm gonna show you how to get to that. I'm gonna show you three stretches and one strengthening drill that's really, really important that's gonna work on scapular stability, which in turn is gonna affect shoulder stability. Remember, the shoulder is the scapula, the scapula is the shoulder. So let's go ahead and get all that started because you know what? I want you to take that knife out of your back. So first thing is, if you look at the back, listen, this is easier. Okay, so let's do this. We'll take off this matchwear shirt. Ask yourself this. Hey, do you want one? You want one of these? These are dope, huh? Yeah, I'll get you one, don't worry. I know you guys are all giving me a hard time. So you take a band, okay? You've seen me do this before, but you take a band, you're gonna grab the band, two hands. Your point is you're gonna take a bent, bent knees, I'm gonna hold the band, I'm gonna hold my shoulders nice and tight, and then I'm gonna allow myself to flare my shoulders, so I'm gonna protract my scapula as much as I can, and feel those scapula kind of spread apart, and then I'm gonna allow them to come back to a neutral position, and then I'm gonna allow them to spread apart again, and then come back to that neutral position. This is such an easy drill to do, and then back to neutral, all while hanging on to the band, and then back to neutral. That is number one. Now, number two is we're gonna work on, it's called a weightless dumbbell pullover. So, when I say weightless dumbbell pullover, it's because we're not using any weight. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. We need the band, or the uh, box. So you need a box, and you need a floor. So we'll go like this. You've seen me do this a bunch of times too. So we get up on the box. This just takes the spine out of the, uh, out of a, a kind of a taxed position. This allows you to have a neutral position. Bring your arms all the way above you. The whole goal is to keep your abdomen, your thoracic spine, and your head neutral. Trevor's L rule, right? Body hacks L rule, trust smash works L rule, where you create a 90 degree angle here. So I don't want your chin tucked or extended. You're gonna bring your hands all the way out. You can put them together if you want. It's either or, it doesn't matter. I tend to just keep them about six to eight inches apart. And then you're just gonna bring your hands, if this is as far as you can go, that's fine. The whole goal is to go all the way up and then all the way back, nice and slow, big breath. And then blow. All the way. That is gonna allow you to start recovering and moving that mid back the way it's designed because it forces the scapula to rotate. Now, second one, we're gonna, or third one we're gonna do, we're gonna shove that box out of the way. You're gonna get on your side. I'm gonna move over a little bit because I'm gonna line a whack in the wall. You're gonna get on your side, 90-90. So my friend Jess Fitzgibbons, she actually did this in class one time. She told me about it, it was kind of cool. You gotta love Jessica. She's one of the owners of CSA. So 90 degrees at the hips, 90 degrees at the knees, fingers together, okay? You can see like this. I'm gonna reach forward with my fingers past, so now I'm like this, so reach forward, past, and then come back and open up all the way, and then come all the way back across again, past, back, all the way open, and then again, starting here, past, back, all the way open up. I would do 10 sets of that. Now we've got one more. We need to strengthen that shoulder, scapula, rib cage, rhomboid, serratus nightmare that's going on. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do it. Remember, we can get fancy all you want. Fancy just doesn't work. 
So stop getting fancy. You can see I have a band set up right here. Take the band. This is super dope. This is a quarter inch or one eighth inch band. This is really, really small. You don't need a lot, but you want to have the band in line with the shoulder. So same height. You're going to keep it taut. So already it's got a little bit of a load on it. You're going to pull it back. You're going to externally rotate. You're going to press up in a V. So what you're doing is you're pulling back, externally rotating, pressing out this way, not this way. So you're pressing out this way. So almost in scaption. Okay. So pull, externally rotate, press, come back down, allow it to come forward. Pull, externally rotate, press, come back and pull. That's it. That's all you got to do. You want to get rid of that mid back pain? Start doing this stuff. It'll help like crazy. And we'll fix your shoulders at the same time. Hey, listen, I'm Trev, Body Axe, Smashworks, all the good stuff.